Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hearthstone deck guide. So today I present you a deck that was used by Noho to each legend this season and it's an uh, aggressive face hunter deck. Uh, so I have not used hunter too much recently but um, this deck in particular was very fun for me. I played it quite a bit now over the last couple of days. I was performing very good both against other aggressive decks, both against mid-range and also against the control decks and the reason for the control decks um, that you beat them quite often is because of the Death Stalker Rex. So normally the old Face Hunter decks back in the day, if you just look back one or two years ago, they were just going face all day. But with the Death Stalker Rex, you also have a tool that allows you to have a very, very strong end game potential. Because if you play the Death Star Correxa, you are getting rid of your old hero power, so the deal to damage and the face hero power. That is not useful if your opponent can heal. If you play against the priest every turn, he's healing back the two. But uh, Build a Beast is powerful. You craft a custom zombies, and these beasts are very big, they're very strong, and they have the chance to, for example, pick up some charge or so with the Tundra Rhino. And that allows you to have something for the late game that will punish your opponent so he's running out of cards. Normally your strategy with an aggressive face hunter deck is of course to just push a lot of damage in the face. You have various tools for that. You will start strong with some, with some early drops like the LA cat here that will spawn another small cat or like a dire mole. Then you have a few secrets in the deck. So like a cat rig, explosive trap, snake trap, wandering monsters, these are all very powerful, helps you to push more damage, helps you to keep control on the board. And then with, a, with an eagle hunt bow, with an animal companion kill command, these are all pushing a lot of damage. So if the game is going in your favor, then you will normally be able to um, clear the game and take down a victory between turn five and seven. If you, on the other hand, then have to go a bit longer. You have your endgame tools, Death Dog Rexa. It's pretty, pretty good. Also, of course, a lesser Emerald Spellstone is excellent. So to upgrade that, you need to apply a secret. Uh, first of all, you summon two, three, three wolves for five, which is already okay. So that is a kind of like for five, you get six, six on the board as stats. If you then play a secret, you upgrade that, then you play three wolves. And if you play another secret, then you play four wolves. And that's for five is quite a bit of stats so that's very valuable um, if you have a chance to pick that up and play some secrets very very good especially in combination with the with the rhino so i just played that with the rhino on turn 10 and that is then from your hand kind of 14 damage burst in the face if there's no taunt in reach so that's pretty cool should help you also to close some games and um, the game overall is the deck overall is very very solid performing very good so if you want to have something to reach legend maybe fast this season for for having a good start in the next season i can definitely recommend the acro face hunter deck and uh, with that i will show you now two games that i played a bit earlier against two mages and uh, find out how the game is being played on the ladder and find out if i took down some victories so check out the gameplay and with that i'm out for this section all right guys so let the fun begin our first opponent will run a mage we have a very very decent starting hand double alley cat animal companion explosive trap that should work out very decently so the question is only if we want to go a coin into double cat on the first turn if we want to use the coin for the animal companion for example on turn two so i think that depends a bit on what we're facing here snake trap uh well you know I um, think I'm going double LA cat. Then we might use uh, the snake trap on turn two, or we are going into our hero power. The explosive trap is not as useful as going for a snake trap here, if we want to play a secret. Because he will clear the units first, so he will go for a trade here and there. So there is the secret coming from the Canologist. Oh, yeah, that's even better. And with the Lesser Emerald Stone, I'm more interested in dropping a secret here so that we can drop the Lesser Emerald Stone um, pretty pretty soon. So maybe on turn, four, on turn 5 already with an 4 3 3 on the board. We're just hitting him in the face now. The secret that he got from the Economologist could be a counter spell, but if he's going for a counter spell, uh, that's still fine. So I probably will go Animal Companion. Okay, playing that up for free. I mean, we could even um, give him the Explosive Trap. 
for triggering snake trap. It's just uh, the board is so crowded. If he has not a counter spell there, and if we go animal companion, we get Leok. That is so much damage, and that's why we have to play the animal companion and hope for the best. It's getting countered, unfortunately. Oh, we still just go face. That's six in the face. It would have been 12 on the other hand with a Leok. It would have been 10 with a Huffer. And we are, of course, never getting the taunts, so it would have been definitely more damage. But well, he's already down to 20. On turn 3, that is okay. He's gonna trade here, left and the right. Left 4 on the board, he's using a Fire Blast. Makes it so that we have 3 on the board. We will then use the Explosive Trap, the Hero Power. That's an additional 5, so he's down to 50. And the Explosive Trap will also deal additional damage. And then on turn 5, we go for the Emerald Spellstone, which is then spawning some extra units. Oh, even a frost bolt. He's afraid of dying fast. And so he should. We are kill command. I like it. So explosive trap. Deal some damage here on the face. Uh the there is a there is an idea to hit this. So um he could just use a fire blast, kill one, and then maybe we trade with this, keep the unit. On the other hand, we have an explosive trap here. So the unit is definitely going down. Plus the other one, of course, as well. So I don't think we have to trade. So there's a fire blast again. Let's see if he's going for the small one. Or if he's going for the 4-2, he's going for the small one. Okay, then that will be a hit. The unit is down. Kieran Torment also dying hard. Down to 14. We can just chill, play the spell still next turn. Frostbolt in the face. Right now it's 27 to 14, so Frostbolt in the face is not doing too much. And with the spell stone here, we have a very good time. It's 12 on the board. Plus two next turn, plus five maybe next turn, plus another two here. That's more than enough to just have lethal. And uh, it's highly unlikely that he can kill everything. Almedives, okay. Cut it down to nine on the board, plus the secret um, could be a nice block. We will see. Um, so for the start, let's just go face. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So at least it down to five. Because that could be a nice block. I prefer to use the hero power first and then use the kill command. That is dealing 5 damage and it's more useful for us to use that this way because if it's an ice block then he's not dying anyway and then at least he is down to... Well, apparently he's already dead. Okay, so we win the first game kind of fast. I'm nearly back to rank 3 which is also great. So I think we're just playing another game. So let's go for a second game and this one is also against the mage and let's see this down i don't need the owl snake trap animal companion that's okay but i think we really want the one drop so uh, let's just replace everything so it's not like we would get a worse starting hand normally we have enough one two and three drops whatsoever and that looks that looks way better dire mole into the craggling into maybe kill command that's pretty pretty damn good so especially craggling into this little little beast here that can be devastating opponent starting with a cabal lucky next secret is for free so what could that be what could that be we will find out pretty soon so let's just adapt this wind fury poison and plus three health hmm the wind fury could clear the cabal and then still hit one in the face it's not the it's not the most awesome idea but can work. I mean, then he's using Fire Blast. He's kind of missing then his second turn. We still have the Crackling on the board. The plus three health could also use that. And then it's just one point less. Uh, okay, we, we use that. Gonna crush you. Normally you want to go face, but it's just one point, And I think it's fine if we kill the Cabal like he. Otherwise, he would have crushed our three, two. So the secret was not triggering. Um, what then expect is a counter spell. Oh, that's good. That's good indeed. It's another rhino. Don't give me the rhinos, please. So how about we just hit you in the face? Play the dire and another two. So that's probably a counter spell. Yeah, most most likely. Could also be an ice block, but I would expect that he's starting with a counter spell if he has that in hand. So you would counter right now the kill command, which kind of sucks. That's a lot of damage that we would lose. So how about we get something else? Maybe secret. Maybe a cheap card like a tracking would be fine. And a Kabalaki. That could also be another kill. Ooh, do we want to lose the animal companion or do we want to lose the kill command? Thinking about the animal companion. So he's countering that. There you go. 
Uh, then again, I think we just trade here because it's just one point that we're losing and the 2-1 is definitely more dangerous for me, so gonna hit that. Uh, then he can attack here, kill my diamond. It's definitely not looking as good as the last game, that's for sure. Turn 4, he's still at 27. Last game we had him already down so much, but we can also not do that much on the other hand because we have nothing to play. There's an explosive trap. Mm, it's okay, we could also just stop the Tundra here and go face. I think I prefer that. If we go explosive, we could go explosive and hero power, which is dealing then 4 in total. He will attack first, not playing another unit. And if we wait a bit longer, maybe we, we can kill more. So let's just deal the 2 in the face. Um, and then... So if he's not able to kill that, he should be able to kill it. But if he's not able to kill it, then at least we have the charge Rhino. And then if we get maybe Savannah High Main from the top, we can play that on turn 6. And boom, that's another 6 in the face. The mana. Okay, Frostbolt. So we see it's right here. Mana is just a 2 right now. Um, maybe if we get another secret. Then we could have played Secret, Secret and Hero Power. Regling, could play that. On the other hand, we could just go Explosive, Hero Power and then play Crackling and the Rhino next turn. Sounds okay. Then if we adapt the Rhino, that could be very, very powerful. So these are taken two. We can use the Rhino to trade into the mana. Use the Crackling to kill the five for sure. So these are a bit dangerous. That's why you need to trade. Eagle on. I'm still going Rhino. And I'm still going Crackling. Divine Shield. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. That's okay. Divine Shield is also okay. Then he kind of needs a Firebolt on the unit. I'm going Divine Shield. So we hit you. We clear the mana just so that he's not getting too big. It's a bit dangerous. If he's now interested in killing the Rhino, there needs to be a Firebolt or Firelands Portal. There you go. It's a Firelands Portal. We're getting the... Oh, that was weak, right? Oh, that's the one with the with the secret. Okay. Uh, so high main, two in the face. I thought it was the one that is just able to attack when you... Um, oh, that cannot attack at all. I like a Bar Crystal Runner. Uh, so you're done. I'm using kill command here. Ooh, and the Fireball. Damn you, Fireball. Probably then trading. There you go. So we use kill command, crush you, tracking. I'm gonna use the tracking as well. We get another kill command, at least the hound and the snake trap. We will go. What will you do next turn? If we drop eagle horn bow, you probably attack. You probably will attack, so the snake trap makes sense. Kill command is cool, that's another five to, to deal damage. Mm -hmm. But Snake Trap would give us something on the board and that might be more useful. I think I prefer the Snake Trap. That's increasing than the Eagle on Bow. We have 8 so we can play everything. Let's do it. So Eagle on Bow, Snake Trap, Kill Command on the 5. We are then just going face here for 5 total. He's down to 14. He will attack here normally. And then the Snake Trap should take off. Still there is an option that he's just using a spell. Oh, Frostbolt. Yeah, that's for example a spell. So there's a trade then. There you go. We are getting the snakes on the board. He might use his hero power for one snake, which would still allow us to trade into the unit if we really want to. Uh, probably do not want to. Probably we just want to hit you in the face. You're in Tall Mage. Uh, the left card is, by the way, still the coin. He has that. Oh, another eagle on. Uh, that's indeed not a good card. So you can use Fire Blast here on these little guys. Can push you down to 10. And then we, we kind of just need two turns. We just need two turns. So we go face. Man, without the, the frost here, we could have just hit him in the face. Damn you. So 10 to 23. Fire Blast and one of the snakes. That's for sure. Another Cuban Tor Mage. That's a, that's a lot of damage now. Can you be faster? So you deal four. Trade. We're down to 19. You right now still need a tiny bit cat trick. Probably so if that's fireball in the face of the right card, we could be in trouble. Down to five now. We just need one turn. He currently has 13 on the board plus the fire blast. So he's missing five points. He needs a violence portal or he needs a fireball. And that's it. Otherwise we are winning. So that will be very close. 
You already used the frost bolt, so you cannot just. Oh, now it's a pyroblast. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. So you could have not used the frost bolt to freeze us again. But uh, a pyroblast is also good enough. So unfortunately, because the start was definitely slower, we are losing um, the second game. Normally, so far, with my experience against mage, you are definitely favored. So I played, I think, against four mages, four secret mages all, and I won three games, and that's kind of the first a defeat against a, a secret mage. So I would expect that you are, in general, favored, heavily favored against the secret mage because you are going faster. And this game was also very close, so he needed... Uh, a specific spell like a uh, firebolt there was one left in the deck there was one firelands portal left and uh, if he's running a pyroblast of course he could also use the pyroblast so that was kind of the stuff that he needed in the situation uh, he was lucky enough to get one of these cards so that's why we lost unfortunately but still the deck is performing good and if you want to have something fast something to rank up fast i can definitely um, recommend this deck here the aggressive kind of like a face hunter deck Against um, control matchups, uh, you still have a good time because of the Death Stalker Rexa that allows you to get a lot of units, get a lot of strong units, and that will then eat a lot of destruction spells from your opponent's deck. So that is also working good. And also, uh, keep in mind, the new expansion is kind of just around the corner, so we need to wait. I would expect another two weeks, and then we have the expansion at hand. So um, if you're looking forward for the cards as much as I do, don't... Don't panic, it's coming pretty soon. So I hope to see you then in the next Hearthstone video as well. If you have enjoyed the content, hit a little like there, bottom, the below, the button below. And also you can subscribe here, that would also be much appreciated. And with that, I'm out. See you then, hopefully in the next one. And I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.